Ewing, uh, Professor Carlin, context is important, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, because just a few minutes ago when, when the, our colleague from Florida presented a statement you made, you said, well, you got to take that statement in context, but it seems to me you don't want to extend the same or apply the same standard to the president. Because the now famous quote, I would like you to do us a favor, you said about an hour and a half ago that that didn't mean us, didn't mean us, it meant the president himself. But that's that, the clear reading of this, I would like you to do us a favor, though, because, you know what the next two words are? Um, I don't have the document. I'll tell you, because our country, he didn't say, I would like you to do me a favor, though, because I have been through a lot. He said, I want you to do us a favor, though, because our country has been through a lot. You know what this, this call, when this call happened? Happened the day after Mueller was in front of this committee. Of course, our, our country put, was put through two years of this. And the idea that you're now going to say, oh, this is the royal we, and he's talking about himself, ignores the entire context of his statement. That whole paragraph, you know what he ends in that paragraph with? Talking about Bob Mueller. And this is, this is the basis for this impeachment, this call. It couldn't be further from the truth. You want the, you want the standard to apply when, when Representative Gates makes one of your statements. Oh, you got to look at the context. But when the President of the United States is clear, you try to change his word. And when the context is clear, he's talking about the two years that this country went through because of this Mueller report, General somehow that standard doesn't apply to the president. The that, is, that is ridiculous. The gentleman's time has expired. Ms. Scanlon. I want to thank